what's good YouTube this is Rob Dollar back with another vid I'm, I'm hitting you on the head today with video after video after video now this is just my last video right here but today I want to give you guys an early look at the Oreo force now before I get into this video make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and say yo dollars we love what you're doing make sure if you guys are new to the channel Make sure you guys subscribe, all right, y'all? Now, first of all, a lot of these people that do YouTube videos on these shoes and shit, they got agendas, you know? Some of them want free Jordan brand products. Some of them want, you know what I'm saying, retailers to send them free shit. Me, I have no agenda. I just do videos. This shit fun. I like it. I like the people that I meet up here. So, I'm going to keep it 100. You dig what I'm saying? The remaster shit, that word remastered is the hype behind all these shoes because to be honest, these shits are just super tumbled, thicker, pleather. Like these shits are not leather. They don't, that's why if, if you listen to the to the to the previous reviews about remastered and all that, they always said that we want to make them as close as possible as the originals. They never said that they're gonna make them exactly like the original that said close as possible. Which means we're gonna take the best pleather and we're gonna throw them on these shoes. You feel what I'm saying? And call them remastered. And then guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna raise the price because these shits are just cheap. Like they just cheap shoes. Like they're just Jordans with thicker pleather. Like that's it. These shits are not leather at all. They just pleather. These are retail and those are 98 percenters. I call them 98 percenters because I don't wanna offend the world. I think they're all the same. But since I don't wanna offend the community the quote-unquote sneaker community i just call them 98 percenters you dig what i'm saying even though i got them hands on and i can smell them see them and feel them so i know what they really are you dig what i'm saying but these are retail straight from nike these shits came with the i think this is the pair right here look i got the the lopsided crooked booty no this ain't the shoe hold on this ain't the lopsided crooked booty one this is the lopsided you know what i'm saying look look at that remaster my motherfucker got the crooked booty. You dig what I'm saying? Remastered. 100% authentic retail from Nike. Got the crooked booty. But I'm not going to lie. I love these shoes. They dope. They dope as fuck. In my opinion. You dig what I'm saying? I like them. I'm a fan of the... I think I like the colorway. You know what I'm saying? But they still cheap shoes. Like these shits is straight pleather. All pleather. Remastered pleather. $210. Or $200 something dollars with taxes. That's, that's how much these shits cost. And I got the crooked booty, so when I walk, my shit looking like Don Drew. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm leaning them. You dig what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Uh, but anyway, let's get into these. The Oreos. As you guys can see, got the tumble pleather all around it. You know, and I think these shits even came. You know, I think they more lined up in the back. You see what I'm saying? Like, these shits is not all crooked and shit. The jump in look funny. But if you was to, even retail, if you was to get 100 pair of these, all together, size 11, not all of them are going to be the same. You're going to see floors on them and the cuts and everything. So, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, these shits is definitely up for grabs. I'm not a fan of the Oreo 4s. I like the Columbia 4s. They're not up for grabs at all. Those shits I rock. These shits, I'm not really feeling them. I'm not even feeling the retail version. They, like I said, they all the same in my opinion. But I'm not feeling them at all. You know what I'm saying? Got that pleather speckling on this on the um midsole right there. Tag. You guys know what it is, man. I just wanted to let you guys know that you know these shits is the remastered is the hype behind the shoe. Just that word because the shoes is the shoes is just straight pleather. You can smell them like soon as you open the box. They both smell the same. They got like a strong glue smell or some kind of monkey smell. So, you know. But comment down below. Let me know how you feel about these. Inside has, it looks like a black insole with a, a like a gray looking jump man. I don't know. But yeah, not, not, not a fan of these at all. You know, I just wanted to see them up close, compare them so you guys can see. Toe boxes, what you guys think? Toe boxes line up the same. I think they do in person, they do. Tongue height, everything is like the same shit, man. Only thing different colors, you feel me? Cuts. One jump man looks like a fiend, the other one looks like a fat nigga, so 
You know what I'm saying? Remaster. That's remaster for your ass. You feel me? $190 price hike. Up the price and give you the same shit. I only think they just make it a little fancy with the tumble pleather, man. But these shits is stank. Same old bullshit that we've been getting. Just a higher price. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the Columbia's. I like the colorway, navy blue. I'm not really a fan of it. Like I said, these shits are up for grabs. I got a whole bunch of shit up for grabs that I'm gonna put up 98 percenters, uh, retails, whatever. Like, I'm gonna put them up soon. So, if you wear a size 11 or 10, I got like mad shit for y'all. Fucking Pantones, all that shit. But yeah, man, comment down below. Let me know how you feel about these. If you're a fan of these Oreos, uh, let's, let's take a look at the medial side. I don't think I showed you the medial side. I'm not really feeling them. <laughs> I'm not. These shits are ugly. I got them just as, you know, just in case I liked them. I was gonna be like, yo, I keep these shit, but not really feeling them. They all bullshit. They all same old shit. Jordan Brand has to offer a bunch of fancy words onto a shoe and you know the hype begins you know what i'm saying and then you got the people with the hidden agenda that want the free shoes that's gonna tell you oh them shits in fire them shits in bank inside you gotta see them shits in person and them shits is really not you know what i'm saying a bunch of overrated the shits crease because the pleather is so soft they put soft ass pleather on it if you got remastered shoes from the store you know that shit is not leather you can smell it it's not leather it's some bullshit that they put on it like I said, these are retail, these are 98 percenters, and it's that just bullshit. Like, that's what Jordan Brand giving us, a bunch of bullshit. Rising the prices, making the name sound fancy, giving us uh, uh, lifestyle shoes, you know what I'm saying, or, or retro plus shoes from back in the days, making it all fancy, but it really ain't, man. It's the same old shit we've been getting, man. We just getting fucked in the ass and paying 190 for the same shit we've been getting for years. I don't know, man. Comment down below. Shout out to everybody doing their thing. I still watch our videos. I just don't hit the like button because I don't want the little haters coming from my channel stumbling upon your channel and start flagging y'all and doing dumb shit like that. Because, you know, some niggas I'm still cool with still get their hands dirty. And, you know what I'm saying? They doing their thing. And I don't want to fuck that up for them. So I let them do their thing. I still support everybody. I just don't hit the thumbs up because people go to my playlist, see who videos I'm liking, and they go flag the other motherfuckers. You dig what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. Comment down below. Let me know how you feel about the Oreos. I think they're a bunch of bullshit, but that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? This is Rob Dollar, man. I'm getting the fuck out of here.